We're called Public Service Broadcasting. We're a duo from South London, and we take samples from old public information films, archive footage, propaganda material, uh, all sorts, basically, and write new music around it and try and kind of reframe it in, uh, in modern times in an interesting light, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, that's what we do. So um, maybe you could tell everyone what the significance of this place is and how come you actually agreed to come and join us today. Well, it sounded very interesting, for one. Uh, so thanks for asking us to do it. And it has been very interesting. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say that. Um, but obviously, Alexandra Palace uh, has special significance as the sort of the original site of the first BBC broadcast. So when, when you go around calling yourselves public service broadcasting, I think you need to have a fair appreciation for that kind of thing. Um, and we've been working on a new album for about a year and a half now, and this seemed like uh, as good a place as any um, to, uh, yeah, I suppose, talk about what that, what that is and then maybe play a few songs, older songs, because the new ones aren't quite ready yet. But yeah. So um, do you want to tell us a little bit a about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to give the game away, so maybe I should play. We've, we've prepared a very short film. Um, which I should probably just press play on and hopefully it's going to work. But, uh, we'll should see should I get front. off the stage then? <laughs> no pressure. All right. Okay, right. Here we go. I don't normally talk on the stage, just in case you can't tell. start, play it cool. There you go. And um, it feels, uh, feels relatively uh, serendipitous, I suppose, because uh, it turns out that today is the 57th anniversary of the launching of Sputnik, which is the first satellite, which you've heard quite a lot about earlier in the evening, so it kind of ties things off in a nice circle, I suppose. But um, The Race for Space is going to be our second album, and it's, uh, it's kind of a collection of, of NASA footage, I suppose, as well as um, some footage that we've managed to obtain through the BFI, the British Film Institute, who we've, we've been working with for a long time. And um, that's kind of taking care of a lot of the, the Russian stuff. So it's kind of telling the, the story of that period of history through the archive footage of the time, but with relatively modern music over the top, I suppose. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to play a few songs now, I think. So if I could call Riggles to the stage, wherever he's waiting. Here he comes, slowly. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, I normally don't communicate via microphone. It's normally hello, all that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll revert to that now. I'll stick with what I'm comfortable with. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you've had a lovely evening and that you enjoy the four brief songs that we're going to play for you now. Thank you very much.
dusk is deepening. Soon the nightly battle of London will be on. This has been a quiet day for us, but it won't be a quiet night. Searchlights are in position, the guns are ready, the People's Army of Volunteers is ready. They are the ones who are really fighting this war. Brokers, clerks, peddlers, merchants by day, they are heroes by night. to play at the Alexandra Palace Theatre. Special is a fast express, but it can. 
carries no passengers. Half a million letters are sorted, picked up or dropped during the night. This is the night mail crossing the border. Border, 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 border. Bringing the check and the postal order. Order, 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 order. Letters for the rich, letters for the poor, the shop at the corner of the girl next door. Curious little bird. 
to the lost lectures for having us. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe. This is our last song. Thanks again for having us. We are Public Service Broadcasting, and it has been a pleasure to play for you tonight. The Alexandra Palace Theatre. Simmer down. Once there was a mountain called Peak 15. Nothing was known about it. But in 1852, the surveyors found it was the highest in the world, and they named it Everest.